Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and also to my Facebook page. Include na din natin yung TikTok ko. So my TikTok account is at Teacher March Cruz. Yan, nilalagay ko yung link sa baba. So for today's video, we are going to talk about how to divide 2 to 3 digits by 1 digit using long division. Are you ready? Wow, exciting na siya. Grab yarn. Okay. <laughs> Ang long division. So, what are the parts of the long division? May parts po siya. So, from that, okay, long division. Okay. So, pag long division, yung line niya po, or yung line niya na nasa taas, dito natin ilalagay yung quotient. When we say quotient, yung answer po natin. And then, what are we going to put inside? Uh, yung inside po is yung dividend. Yung dividend po, yung first number in division. And then, the second one is, or the outside one, is about divisor. Okay. I-relate lang natin dito. Wow. Straight yarn. <laughs> Okay, first one, we have 26 or 24 divided by 8 equals. So, from that um, figure, we are going to change this into long division. Paano po natin ilalagay? So, yung dividend, yung first number po natin, ilalagay po natin siya sa loob. Yan. Okay. Next one, the number 8, which is the divisor, will be outside. Ganun lamang po. Again, the first number, in. Second number, out. So, ito lang po yung way ko kung paano mag-solve, uh, ha? So, we can apply it to every number. By the way, this video is for the numbers that has no remainder. Wala po tayong remainder dito, kundi zero lama. Okay, ready? So, first step, ganito po ako magturo. First, always start from left number or the first digits here, the tens place, or basta kung ano yung pinaka-left side. Okay? Always start from the left side and divide to the number outside, or which is divisor. So, 2 here divided by A. So, ang 2, hindi po natin siya pwedeng i-divide. So, mangyayari, 2 divided by 8 is no solution. Bakit po? Kasi, yung 2 is less than 8. Pag sinabi po natin less than 8, mas maliit yung 2 kesa kay 8. So, hindi siya natin pwede. So, ang mangyayari, isasama natin si 4. Kaya, ang gagamitin natin is 24. Nakukuha po ba? So, if 2 cannot use to divide 8, di tayo pwedeng kumuha ng 8 sa dalawa. Okay? So, ang mangyayari, kukunin natin si 24. Kaya, si 24, i-divide natin kay 8. Next step. Okay. Always remember this step. So, lagyan natin siya ng acronym. DMS. D stands for divide. M stands for multiply. And S stands for subtract. So, first, i-divide po natin si number 24. So, I'm going to use other num uh, color para mas makuha natin. So, when we divide, 24 divided by 8. So, count lang tayo or sa 
multiples of 8. Ano-ano po ba yung multiples of 8? 8, 16, 24, um, 32, 40, 48, uh, 56, 64, 72, 80. Next. Dapat kabisado mo si multiples of 8. So, paano natin i-apply nat uh, dito sa division? Ganito lamang. So, always start from 8 and stop sa less than or equal mean 24. Or, or less than or equal number. So, we have 8, 16, 24. So, ang bilang niya po is 1, 2, 3. So, ang 24 ay nasa 3. Kaya, ilalagay natin si 3 sa ibabaw ni 4. Bakit hindi sa 2? Kasi hindi natin ginamit si 2. In, he, uh, in Thailand, we usually put 0 here to maintain the position of each digit. Ano pong ibig sabihin nun? Nilalagyan po natin ng 0 para hindi malito yung mga bata kung saan ilalagay yung digit. Pero kung hindi na po kailangan, okay lang. Pero dito kasi, minsan nami-misplace ng mga bata. Nakukuha po ba? Next, after we divide, we will multiply. Correct? So, 3 times 8 equals so 24. Yarn. So, after we multiply, yes, we multiply 3 and 8. So, it next step is subtract th uh, 24 minus 24 equals, ano po ang sagot? Yes, correct. The answer is 0. Ito po ba ang sagot? 0 po ba yung sagot? No. Our answer is 3. Yan po yung quotient natin. Kung ano yung nasa taas na sagot. That is our answer. Nakuha po ba? Okay. So, another example para mas makuha po natin. Let's try. So, we will stick with two digits first. So, let's try. So, we have 95 divided by 5. So, ganito lamang po siya. Always start from the very first digit. Ano po ba yung first digit natin? Our first digit is number 9. Mabilis po ba? Nakukuha po ba? Okay. Now, next step. Ano po ba yung ating rule? Yes. D, M, S. What is D? D means, yes, very good, divide, yan. Ano po yung M? Very good again, multiply. Next step is, yes, subtract. Always remember this step, first step, divide. So, we are going to divide 9. 9 divided by 5. So, you're going to count by 5. So, you will get what is less than 9. So, hahanap ka ng number na ang less than niya ay 9. So, we are going to count by 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yan. Next, si 9. Which one is less than 9? Yes, our answer will be in 5. Pero, pang ilan siya? Yes, una po siya. So, we are going to use 1. Nakukuha po ba? So, ang bilang niya is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? Ano po yung pinakauna? Uh, this is the first digit. So, the first digit is uh, 5. The second one is 10. Ganun po. 
So, 5 is less than 9. So, we are going to use 5. So, 1 will be on the top. This is in divide. 1 times. Oh, multiply na tayo. The second step. 1 times 5 is 5. Okay. And then, the third step is subtract. 9 minus 5 is... 9 minus 5 is... Yes, very good. 4. Yes. Tapos na po ba? Ay, hindi pa siya tapos. So, what are we going to do? Is to bring down 5. Yan. We are going to bring down 5. We are going to change the color. So, you will understand more. So, 45. Now... Where is 45 here? Yes, nandito si 45. Magbilang tayo. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, ang technique lang dyan is always count using your finger. And then, count by 5. So, start with 5 and stop with 45. Let's count. 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So, 45 is in the, yes, 9 finger. So, yung 9, we are going to put 9 on the top. And then, 9 multiplied by 5, that is the second step. 9 times 5 is 45. Then subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. Oh, pwede rin lagyan lang ng isang 0. So, our answer will be 19. Okay. Nakukuha na po ba? Oh, let's try another one. Oh, let's make a line. Wow, straight yarn. Okay. So, we are going to... Okay, now let's move on to 35 divided by, yes, 7. So, meron tayong pakamay dito. Yarn. Okay, so 3 here divided by 7. So, hindi natin pwedeng i-divide si 3. Bakit po? Yes, because 3 is less than 7. So, we are going to move to the next one, which is D lang 5, which, uh, kundi 35. So, let's try 35. So, lagi tayo magbibilang using our finger. So, let's try 7, 14, 21, yes, 28, 35. So, how many fingers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we are going to use 5 on the top of 5. Okay. So, hindi tayo maglalagay dito. We are going to skip this space. Or, you can just put 0 para hindi tayo malito. Okay. 5 multiply. That is the second step. Multiply. 5 times 7 is 35. Then, subtract. That is the third step. Okay. So, we have... 5 mo um subtract or 5 minus 5 is 0 3 minus 3 is 0 so our answer is 5 ganun lamang po nakukuha po ba okay now 48 divided by okay oh, let's try 4 oh ganun po ulit ang ating step ang ating step is Always start from the very beginning, which is 4. 4 divided by 4. So, magbilang ka daw ng uh, by 4. Tapos, mag-stop ka sa less than 4 or equal to 4. Less than or equal to 4. Ganun po yung format niya. So, let's try. 4. 8. Are we going to use 8? No, because it, because it is more than 4. Yes. So, we are going to use 4. How many? How many fingers do we have? Yes, we have 1. 
Next, multiply. That is the second step. 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. Okay? Then subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0. And then, tapos na po ba? Not yet. So, we are going to move 8 down. 8 divided by 4. So, count tayo. 4, 8. Oh, nandito na si 8. Ilan po yung finger? 1, 2. So, we have 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Then, subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. So, our answer is 12. Okay? Nakukuha na po ba? Okay. Very good, ah. Ang galing mo doon, ah. Uh, isa pa natin. Isa pa tayo. Okay. For example, we have 81. Nice. Divided by 3 naman tayo. Okay. Ano po ang first step? The first step is divide the very first digit, which is 8. Next step po. Yes, very good. We are going to count by 3. Okay? It should be less than or more than 3. Or less than or equal to 8. Yes, equal to 8 naman po. Kasi... Uh, our first digit is 8. So, it should be equal or less than 8. Okay? Let's count. 3, 6, 9. Again, 3, 6, 9. So, which one is less than 8? Okay? So, hindi si 3. Siyempre, i-out na natin si 3. Ano po yung sumunod? Si 9 po ba? No, because 9 is more than 8. So, we are going to use 6. Okay po. Ilan po yung finger? So, we have 2. 1, 2. So, yung 2, ilalagay natin sa taas. We are going to put 2 on the top. Next, 2 multiplied by 3. Or count by 3 again. 3, 6. So, we have 6. Nakukuha po ba? Then, subtract. 6 minus, uh, or I mean, 8 minus 6 is 2. Okay, tapos na po ba? Not yet. So, we are going to bring down 1 here. So, ituloy lang natin. We are going to count by 3. It should be less than or equal to 21. Let's count. 3, 6, 9, 12. 15, 18, 21, 24. Boop! Okay. Nakikita nyo ba ang nakikita ko? Yes. Meron tayong 21 dito. So, pang ilan siya na finger? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, where are we going to put 7? Is it on the top or here? Yes. At ano? Sa ibabaw. So, 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Then, subtract. So, it becomes 0. So, our answer will be 27. Nakukuha na po ba? Any question po? So, by the way, this video is only for numbers without remainder. Also, for our next video about... 2 by 1 without remainder. So, I will just give another example. Then, for our next video, magkakaroon naman tayo ng with remainder. Nakukuha po? So, this uh, division is all uh, for all the kids or for all beginners only in division. Sana po nakukuha natin yung process. So, let's try again. So, we have 36 divided by 9. So, paano ulit po ito? So, we are going to divide 1 at a time. So, 3 divided by 9 cannot. Why? 
because 3 is less than 9. Very good. Next one, we are going to use instead of 3, we will use 36. Hooray! nila ito. Next step. Okay. So, kung 36 na, oh my goodness, two digits na. So, we are going to use our fingers. Ah, nakikita po ba yung two hands dito? Now, we are going to count by nine. The technique is always stop to the um, equal or to the less than or equal 36. So, ano-ano po ba yung multiples of 9? So, we have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. Perp! Stop po tayo. Nakikita nyo bang nakikita ko? Yes! Meron po tayong 36 here. So, pang ilang finger siya? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we are going to put 4 on the top, then multiply it. 4 times 9 is 36. Then subtract. 6 minus 6 is 0. Ganun lamang po. Nakukuha po ba? Yes, very good. Okay, so let's have 2 more. Again, so we have 28. Divided by 2. Yes. So, we are going to divide 1 by 1 or 1 digit at a time. 2 divide by 2. Can or cannot? Yes, can. Because they are equal. 2 divide by 2 is? Pang ilan siya dito? Count by 2. 2. Okay, nandito na si 2. Pang ilan siyang finger? 1. So, we are going to put 1 on the top. Nakukuha po? 1 times 2 is 2. Then subtract. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we can just put 0 here. Bring down 8. Okay, so we are going to count by 2, multiples of 2, and we will stop to the less than or equal to 8. Okay, so 8. Pangilan siyang finger? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we are going to put 4 on the top. 4 times 2 is 8. Then, subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. So, our answer is 14. Yan! Bonga! Okay, isa pa po ba? We have um, 84. Yan! And then, we are going to divide to 7. So, kagaya nga po ng sinabi ko, Always start sa very first digit, which is 8. 8 divided by 7 is 1. Paano naging 1? Count tayo by 7. 7, 14. Perp! Hindi natin pwedeng kunin si 14. Why? Because it is more than 8. Ang sabi ko po, it should be less than 8 or equal to 8. So, we are going to get 7. Pang ilan siyang finger? We have 1. So, 1 times 7 is 7. Minus 8 minus 7 is 1. Bring down 4. 14 minus 7, or 14 divided by 7. Count by 7 again. 7, 14, 21. Boop! Hindi na pwede si 21. Bakit? Because it is bigger than 14. So, we are going to use 14 here. Yay! So, how many fingers do we have? 1, 2. So, we are going to put 2 on the top. 2 times four, uh, 7 is 14. And subtract so you will get 0. So, the answer will be 12. Yan! Bonga! Hooray! Ang tagal na na. Halos isang oras din. Okay. So, ganito lang yung pagkuha ng um, dividing or division of two digits to one digit without, yes, remainder. So, 
Okay, yun lang. See you next time. Bye!